You actually think AI is underhyped. Why is that? And I'll, t- I'll tell you why. Most of you think of AI as, I'll just use the general term as ChatGPT. For most of you, ChatGPT was the moment where you said, oh my God, this thing writes, and it makes mistakes, but it's so brilliantly verbal. Right, that was certainly my reaction. Most mm-hmm. people that I knew did that. It was visceral, yeah. Um, this was two years ago. Since then, the gains in what is called reinforcement learning, which is what AlphaGo helped invent and so forth, allow us to do planning. And a good example is look at uh, OpenAI O3 or DeepSeek R1, and you can see how it goes forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. It's extraordinary. In my case, I bought a rocket company because it was like interesting. And I know- (laughs) As one does. As one does. And it's an area that I'm not an expert in and I want to be an expert, so I'm using deep research. And these systems are spending 15 minutes writing these deep papers. It's true for most of them. Mm. Do you have any idea how much computation (laughs) 15 minutes of these supercomputers is? It's extraordinary. So you're seeing the arrival, the shift from language to language, then you have language to sequence, which is how biology is done. Now you're doing essentially planning and strategy. The eventual state of this is the computer's running all business processes, right? So you have an agent to do this, 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 and you concatenate them together, and they speak language among each other. So when I look at this future, I want to be clear that the arrival of this intelligence, both at the AI level, the AGI, which is general intelligence, and then super intelligence, is the most important thing It's going to happen in about 500 years, maybe 1,000 years in human society, and it's happening in our lifetime. So don't screw it up.